This is Alex from Your Classroom Helper. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use the app SmartGrade. This app is basically like a mobile Scantron machine, and you can use your phone's camera to scan and grade uh, multiple choice assessments. This tutorial is part of a larger series that I'm creating, focusing on educational apps. If you are interested, you can check the information below, and I will have a link to those relevant videos. So SmartGrade is available um, for iOS and Android. You can get the download as well as our answer sheet on smartgrade.net. And the best thing about SmartGrade is that it is completely free. It doesn't even cap you on number of scans per month or per year. So you should really check it out. They have a standard 90 question answer sheet and you can have up to five multiple choice options. So it has A through E as your potential options for these 90 multiple choice questions. Okay, so on the right hand side, you can see this is my smart grade key. I went ahead and filled in all of the little dots. Um, I was having some trouble with the lighting in my room, so I would recommend that you go ahead and fill your key out um, with a marker just to make sure that those circles are completely filled in so you don't have any trouble with scanning that. On the left hand side is my assessment. So I created a 15 question multiple choice quiz for my chemistry class, and that is what I want to assess my students on. So my answer key is still on the right hand side here. Um, and here's my student work on the left. And this is what I will be scanning. So you can see I filled these in very lightly um, and it did not really pick that up very well. So just instruct your students to fill in the circles completely. The app is about as sensitive as a Scantron machine. So your students probably have experience using Scantron assessments and knowing that they need to fill that bubble in completely. I would recommend using a pen Sometimes, depending on the way my light was shining on the pencil, it kind of reflected it weird. Um, and so my camera on the, the scanner wasn't able to quite pick that up. So I did not have any trouble with the pen, um, even in really poor lighting. So I would just recommend having your students use a pen to fill that circle in. And even if they don't fill that in completely, the pen is dark enough that it'll be able to um, record their answer based on that scan. Okay, so from here, I'm going to step you through how to use the SmartGrade app. To download the app, go to smartgrade.net. On this website, you can download the app and you can also get their answer sheet here as well. So I'm gonna download that. And here is the 90 question answer sheet. You can also get to that answer sheet from the app, and I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm going to download and open up SmartGrade. And here's the main screen. So if you look at the little icons on the bottom, the furthest to the left is to create your new exam. The middle is to create your new class. And the furthest to the right, these three dots, is where you can access that answer sheet that I just showed you on their website. So you can download the PDF of the answer sheet from here as well. So I'm gonna go back to that first icon to create my exam. So I'm gonna click on that button. I'm going to call this demo test. My assessment has 15 questions and this is going to limit how many it grades. And now I'm going to create my new class and call this my demo class. And there we go. Um, the nice thing about setting your limit, I set my limit at 15 questions, is you don't have to worry if there's a smudge or something on question 90, for example. So um, by setting this parameter, you are limiting the number of questions it will grade. Okay, so here's my main page. I'm gonna select enter answer key. And that will bring me to this screen. So I could either scan my key from my answer sheet, which is what I'm going to do using my phone's camera, or you can also enter them in manually. Okay, I'm gonna select scan the key. 
and that happens so fast. So I'm going to go back so you can see that really quick. Okay. Um, so these squares, you have six of these squares on your answer key as well as the student answer sheets. Make sure that they are lined up in the blue boxes that you're going to see on your phone's camera. So if you're having trouble scanning them, just make sure that everything is lined up. Pause it again. These little plus signs are showing you what the app is selecting as the correct answer. So you can give a visual inspection. Um, select looks good if everything looks fine. If not, you can select the scan again option. So for example, if I don't see a little green plus on my number four line, you might want to go ahead and just rescan that. Okay, I like to just look over the answers and make sure that everything looks good. It looked great, and so I selected save the answer key. So this um, scan student exams is not going to turn blue. That icon is going to stay gray if you don't save your answer key. So if for some reason you're not able to select the scanning student exams option, just go ahead and rescan your answer key and make sure that you save that. I'm going to select scan student exams and here's my student I lined that up um, and then I can look through and I have green pluses on every single one of my students answers and here it saves your student's name as well which is really helpful or you could link it to your student's name up here if you already have students um, that you have assessed before this is their score, 14 out of 15, which is correct. So this student got number one incorrect. They selected A, and the correct answer should have been C. Coming back to my main screen, I'm going to walk you through some of these options. I'm going to look at results. And this will have a list of my students with the grade that they earned. I can also look at exam analysis and see the grades of all of my students. Two other things that I want to show you, I'm going to go back to enter answer key and my original answer was C, my original correct answer. So I'm going to change that and select option A, which was the incorrect answer that my student selected. So one nice thing is you don't ever have to worry about having two answers selected, the app will not let you have two correct answers selected on your key. So you don't have to worry about that. So I clicked A, it automatically changed the answer to A. And when I go back to my results, I see that my student earned a 100%. So here is their test. Um, now it is showing that A was correct. So the nice thing is if you make a mistake on your key, you can just change it on your answer key page and it will automatically regrade all of your students for you. So here's their scan. Um, if I go to their score, I'm able to email the results as an Excel spreadsheet. So that's also a really nice option. So you can have the um, results immediately in your email. Before wrapping up this tutorial, I wanted to share a few tips and tricks if you're having any sort of trouble troubleshooting this app. So if you look at this image, this was an unsuccessful scan. So you can see I have the green crosses in only four of my questions. Those are the only ones that registered with that scan. You can see the rest of them um, were not very well filled in. If you compare that scan to this next one, you can see that by filling in those bubbles just a little bit more, it was able to scan those successfully. You also need to make sure that you can see all six of your squares on your scoring sheets. So as you can see on this page, I had some of my squares got cut off because of my printer settings. I was actually able to just draw them in using a marker and it scanned it successfully. So just double check to make sure that that is printing appropriately. You can always use the printer option of fit to page to make sure that you don't run into that problem. 
Another piece of advice is to make sure that you're using the most recent version of the SmartGrade app. This is a new app, which means that they're constantly updating and improving it. So if you're having any sort of issue with the app, or if it's been a really long time since you've downloaded it, make sure that you're using the most updated version. If you have any questions about SmartGrade or if you're having any issues, feel free to reach out to the SmartGrade app developer. They have been very responsive and very helpful. I've had them help me troubleshoot an issue that I was having on my end. So reach out to them. You could also leave a comment below or send me a message and I will do my best to help you or answer any questions you may have. So thank you so much for watching.